Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see in the title and by this car behind me, today we are looking at the Porsche Taycan 4S. This is the 2020 model. And if you guys saw my other video where I talked about the Taycan Turbo, uh, this one has a bunch of different features that the Turbo didn't have. So that's why I thought it would be interesting to go over this car and to show you everything it has to offer. As you guys can see, this is a silver color. It's called the Dolomite Silver. And it also has a slate gray leather interior which looks absolutely amazing I love this car the way it looks it has the 21 inch Vossen wheels on it which gives it a whole different type of aggressive look so yeah that's what we're gonna be talking about today if you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button thank you to Porsche Vancouver for giving me this car for the day so that we could review it and go over it and just kind of check out everything that this car has to offer. So I'll leave a link for them in the description. You guys can go and check them out if you are interested in this car. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, so I'm not gonna make this video super long. I wanna just go over some of the really cool features that this car does have on it and talk to you guys about what I find interesting and things that I like. So first thing that we're gonna start with is on the turbo, on the Porsche Taycan turbo, you guys would have saw that when you wanna open up that uh, flap to plug your charger in, you have to touch it and the flap opens. On this car, it has an electric door opener basically for the charger. So when you come down here, when the car is unlocked, you just touch right here it actually opens up automatically like that. That is so cool. And it actually has it on both sides. So with a lot of electric cars, I feel like it is super annoying that when you have one charger side, if it's the cord doesn't reach or you have to like get out and move your car around, it's kind of annoying to have to deal with that. So because this has a charger on each side, you never have to worry about that. And I just thought that this kind of side door thing was really cool. And that is an extra option that you can get on this car. All right, so next thing that we're gonna look at are these wheels. Uh, these wheels are not standard on these cars. <laughs> these are kind of aftermarket. So when we come down a little bit further, I'll show you guys uh, these Vossen 21 inch wheels are absolutely beautiful. Look how nice this is. I really like how like spread out it is, uh, the spokes, because then you can see how big that brake caliper is in there. And just the red on gray, I think goes together uh, really nicely. So that is also a different option that you can get on this car is just having those massive 21 inch wheels. Um, and then if we come around to the front, uh, another really cool thing that I wanna talk about are these lights. So if you guys uh, have heard of Porsche's matrix lights, uh, these things are absolutely wild. Basically what the matrix lights are is there's like 80 or 85, 80 somewhere in there, uh, LED lights that when you're driving, if it notices that it's really dark out, they come on, all of them are basically scanning the road and being able to, if it sees a car coming at you, it's gonna actually shade that car out, even with your bright lights on, uh, so that the person isn't getting blinded, but at the same time, you're still able to see the road and your bright lights are on. So the cars coming past you look like shadows, which is so cool. Like that's what this car has the ability to do. Now, another thing that I should mention as well is that this car is decked out with safety features. So you can't really see it that well when you're looking at the front of the car, but if you come down a little bit further you guys will see down here that there's actually cameras that are built in there this car has adaptive cruise control um, and then also you can see the little sensors there uh, and also there's a little tiny camera you can't even see it right here but there's a little tiny camera right there which also helps with when you're parking so there's radar on here there's all kinds of features you got all of your uh, cameras and sensors and all of that for when you're parking so that you don't damage your $160,000 car. <laughs> so that is the front end of the Porsche Taycan 4S. Uh, we're gonna move around to the back now just cause it's kind of one of my favorite areas of this car. All right, so this is what the back of the 4S looks like. Uh, you guys will see here that Porsche has done a super nice job at putting this whole light right here just all together so that when you're driving at night, this entire line back here lights up and it looks totally epic. It looks so cool. Um, there's a little button down here that you push if you want to open up your trunk. So when you touch that, it has an automatic trunk. Um, this is also your charger that you get with the car just in case you get somewhere and you need to plug in and there's a wall outlet. Um, then in order to close it, 
you just got the button there. Uh, this car also has a uh, electric or like one of the uh, mechanical wings that comes up. So this spoiler will actually come up when you're going a certain speed on the highway um, and you have it in sport mode. Also, when you have it in sport mode, this car has air suspension. So it'll actually drop down, which looks super cool and gives it that more aggressive look. So I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. Right now it's in like a normal standard driving mode. And then I'm gonna lower it so that you guys can see what it looks like in sport mode. All right, so a couple more features that are actually included in this 4S uh, are on the side of the car. You guys will see here that this um, outside trim on the windows here, this is in a gloss black. This is something that you can also get as an added feature. I'm gonna show you guys also when you walk up to the car, uh, it has a detection mode on it where it knows that you have the key in your pocket. So these door handles are kind of shut right now. Whereas when you walk up to the car and it recognizes you, they pop out so that you can hold it and pull the door open. Okay, so right now they are closed and as I walk up to it You can see that they stick out and then you just put your hand under and open the door and it has a really nice like Electronic feel when you're opening the door like it doesn't feel like you really have to pull it It feels like the door almost gets pushed open a little bit, which is nice uh, But now we're gonna get inside and I will show you guys kind of what the interior looks like in this 4s All right, so we're gonna start in the back seats for the interior uh, I think that it is really interesting just to kind of see what the passengers have to experience when they're in a car like this So let's go ahead and get inside. This, like I said, is the slate gray uh, interior. So if we get in here, you guys will see that uh, first, right off the bat, the one thing that I did notice was that there are no controls in the middle right here. Now, you can get that as an option in the Taycan. Uh, it's just that this model doesn't have it back here. So you could get uh, like rear heated seats um, and different functions if you wanted. But this one is just really nicely laid out. There's no like features or anything, but I think that the design and everything is really nicely looking. Um, so you guys can see the seats are very like sporty. Uh, they kind of have that like bucket seat feel to them. You would expect in such a fast car that you wouldn't really have a lot of room for your passengers in the back seats, but this actually feels really comfortable. Um, and another really cool thing is that the whole roof is glass. So when you are sitting back here, you can totally see out of the whole roof, like it goes all the way back. Um, and that's just something that also adds to the experience of being in this car. Um, another really cool thing that I like is how the front seats look when you're sitting in the back seats. So you guys can see here that uh, these, the back of these seats just have like a very modern look to them. Uh, nothing crazy going on, just a really clean finish. And I really like how this gray looks. I think that the gray goes really nicely, especially because the outside of the car is gray or silver. Um, the gray goes really nicely with that. Also in my Taycan Turbo video, you guys would have seen that I talked a lot about cup holders because it seems that Porsche thinks that it is very important to have cup holders kind of be a big statement in this car. So you got your two cup holders right here. Um, you also have some more room down here to put stuff if you need to. This doesn't really, it's not a seat, so this is a four-seater. Um, but if you guys also look up there, you guys will see the main statement piece that I kind of talked about last time, which was <laughs> two massive cup holders right in the middle. Um, but overall, looking at these back seats, definitely a good feel to them. I like how it feels to sit back here. I have lots of leg room, and the seat that's in front of me is definitely far back. Like, you could fit a big person right there. So I still have a lot of room back here, which is nice. Um, it does have USB-C chargers, which is nice for the people that are sitting back here. So when you're looking for those, it does look like there's nothing back here, but when you come around here, that's where the two USB-C ports are. So you can plug two in right there. Uh, there's more also inside this part. So you do have a lot of ways to connect your phone if you do need to. So overall sitting in the back seats, Definitely a nice feel to it, uh, really comfortable. Anybody sitting back here is gonna be happy and comfortable, I feel like. I don't think there's anything that I can really say that would improve anything except for maybe the heated seats and maybe like a little screen that has some temperature adjustments, but that is something that you can get in this car. Yeah, now we're gonna move into the front and uh, I'll show you guys what it's like sitting in the passenger seat. One thing I do wanna mention before I get in is that on the trim here, you guys will see that this is called a Paldo 
dark wood trim and this is just the interior package that this car does have. I think that it looks really nice, makes it look like the car just, the inside is, has a lot of quality built into it. Um, so yeah, let's get in here. I'll show you guys around. Okay, so I just turned the car on and I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And I wanna show you guys, because this car does have the second screen here. So right now I have the music being set up on here. Um, you can also go back to the home screen and see all of the other things. Like if you wanted to do navigation, you can literally pull up the navigation while you're in the passenger seat. Now, I think anybody, when they get into a new car, I think one of the main things that people kind of look for and enjoy looking at are like the little features. And I feel like, in a Porsche Taycan, if you're looking for a really cool little feature, it has to be that middle screen that the passenger gets to look at. So like I said, also, you got your two big cup holders right here, which do come in handy. <laughs> I just find it really weird that there's two massive cup holders. Uh, on the inside here, this is where your phone charger is, and I will show you guys that again, since I did show you guys in the turbo, but I think it's really cool, is you take your phone, you slide it in there, and when the car is on, your phone will start charging. All right, so I'm gonna go over the infotainment system here. I'm not gonna do the full kind of deal because I already did that on the Porsche Taycan Turbo video. So I'm just gonna mention some of my favorite features. Um, one thing that I do really like, first of all, on this middle console is the way that it says the Ty has the Taycan logo right here. I think that that's really nice. Um, but coming up to this middle screen, this is basically your climate control. Um, so you have all of your heated seats, you have cooled seats, um, you basically have all of your uh, climate stuff that you would need. Uh, it does have your AC. And then at the top here, it's actually nice because when you're driving, if you don't want to have to deal with this screen that much, uh, this bottom screen has your navigation, your music, your phone, and your settings button. So if I want to go straight to my music, you come up here and your music just pulls up right there. If you want to go back to your navigation, you just push navigation and it goes back to the nav. If you... That's really nice because then you don't have to be going through like menus or anything on this screen. With this top screen right here, you guys can kind of read through all of these. There's so many different things that this car does have to offer. You even have like your weather, you have a calendar, uh, you got your home link, uh, and just all of the really good stuff that you do need. This is your charging button. So when you click that, uh, it'll bring up how much range you have left. Uh, you can also do uh, on here as well, they have your different chassis modes and your different drive modes. Uh, the drive mode that I really like it on is the range mode. Now what that does is it really um, makes your car efficient and doesn't burn through your battery really fast because it keeps you under a certain limit. Now if you don't want that limit, you basically can just go through any of these other modes like normal or sport. Sport Plus is the mode that you put it in that is just the crazy mode that lowers the car, puts it in every sport mode possible that this car does have. And then you also have an individual mode that you can set to your liking. So if you want the steering to be hard, um, but you want the accelerating to be on range, you can kind of set that however you want it. But yeah, a lot of these things too, like when you're looking at this dashboard, you'll notice that these air vents right here, it looks like you could grab these and move them around, but you can't. These are actually fixed in here. So you have to come up here and go to your climate control, or sorry, down here, go to your climate control and you tap where you want the air to actually be going. So if I wanna go to the menu here, and it pulls up, you guys can see that uh, you can actually move these around to be pointing the air wherever you want it to go. So uh, pretty cool feature, just like makes it so that these don't move around, but the air coming through here does move in different directions. So that is the passenger side. Definitely a lot of room. Feels nice to be sitting here. Uh, it, it's crazy that like sitting in a Porsche like this that has so much power and is just such a sports car can have such a nice like chill vibe to it. Like you're sitting here and it doesn't feel like this car would have over 500 horsepower, but when you're sitting in it and you're this comfortable and then it does have five or over 500 horsepower, you're kind of like, that's everything that you want in a car. And it's fully electric, so I don't really know what more you could be asking for. Now let's move over to the driver's side and I'll show you guys uh, what is offered over there. <laughs> All right, so let's get in the captain's seat of this car. <laughs> I'll show you guys what it actually feels like and looks like because this is the seat that you wanna be sitting in. Overall, when you are buying this car, you wanna be in the driver's seat. <laughs> so you guys can see, this is what the steering wheel looks like. Um, and 
the really cool thing is that these little middle console pieces here, it's almost like hollow. You guys can see right through here. And it just gives it like such a cool like look to it. Um, now also down here, you can see the different drive modes. That makes it really easy to be able to switch between your sport mode, you got your normal mode, and then you also got your range mode. So they make it really easy to be able to find that. Um, that can be really good because if you're in range and you're wanting to like pass somebody on the highway, just switch that into normal mode and you're passing them. It's really nice. Uh, now another thing also, Behind here is where the heated steering wheel button is. This is also such a cool modern looking dashboard. It's like one big screen basically and everything on there is uh, digital. So the middle right now I have it set up for the, uh, the maps but you can actually change this and turn it into uh, whatever you want. So you can do like a power meter, you could do an extended map. So if I do extended map the whole thing becomes a map. Um, and then if I want to go and do like a bunch of different things like have north being up, I can do that. But okay, so let's go back and I'll show you guys another way that you can do it. So if I put it on power meter, all of these different modes come up so you can see how fast you're going. Um, you can basically see your power right here. But yeah, so that's the middle screen there. A lot of really cool options. I like how they give you the ability to like customize it. Um, and then over here, this is where your lights are. So. You can just touch this, put your uh, headlights on. You can do this, put your fog lights on. Um, and then on this side, these are your, kind of your sport functions. So you got your traction control, you got your uh, suspension right here, or your chassis. So you can do this chassis mode. You also have your, um, your air suspension, which is nice. You can change that there. And then this little diamond button can be um, customized to whatever you want it to be. But overall, looking at the interior of this car, I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to uh, make a good judgment by yourselves as to how this thing actually looks and by the feel of it, it is absolutely unreal. See when I'm sitting on this side, what I mean is that like that little screen pops up, but it just says Tycan because nobody's sitting over there. So that screen doesn't need to be on. All right guys, so that is the uh, interior of the Porsche Taycan 4S. Um, I also, two things that I want to show you guys and mention before I do take this car on a drive and kind of uh, let you guys know the experience of driving it. Uh, this car does have insulated windows so that the windows are actually thick so that it keeps the hot air and just like the warmth of the car in here keeps it nice and warm. But at the same time, because the windows are thicker, uh, it also makes the inside of the car a lot quieter when you're driving down the road. So that is also something that Porsche has designed amazingly for this car. Um, but the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys before we do take this on a drive is the frunk because I totally forgot to mention that when I was walking around the exterior um, but it is really nice to actually have that extra room so let's go to the front of the car and look at what this looks like this is the key right here when you open up the front that's kind of what it looks like now you grab it and it does have a little latch on it but when you pull it up, this is the room that you have. This is super nice. This is like really deep. You could definitely put like three backpacks in there if you needed, or if you were getting groceries or something, you could throw all your groceries in there. Um, it is really deep, which is nice. Uh, and then this is where you put your windshield washer fluid. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because it is extra space, which I think in this car is definitely something that you're gonna want if you wanna go on like a road trip or something. So that is what the frunk looks like. All right guys, so that is the outside and the interior of the car. Kind of went over everything that I thought was interesting about it. Um, now I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about like the horsepower, the different specs that this car has, uh, the difference between the turbo and the 4S, uh, the charging, all of that stuff. So we'll talk about that when we're driving, but let's actually get out there and see what it feels like to drive it. All right, so we're driving the 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S. And to kind of just give you guys an overall feel of what I feel like right now, it feels absolutely amazing. Everything in here in terms of the steering wheel, the like the leather interior, the stitching, the way that the screens look, the responsiveness of the screens, everything feels like it was built with such good quality products. But another thing too that I really like is that this car does have, like I said, the upgraded battery package or the upgraded um, performance battery. And so you're getting that longer range and you're getting uh, the capability to charge your battery faster. So 
that's one thing that I think is definitely recommended in uh, an electric vehicle just because uh, you don't want to be worried about having to stop at chargers and having that extra like even 50 kilometers of range I think plays a huge part in all of this. All right, so I just put it into sport mode The only thing that really happens is the sport plus sign comes up uh, and then it shows the car lowering uh, That just makes it the most aerodynamic that it can make the car uh, and the steering gets super tight Now this car is super quick like when you put your foot down it just goes, like instantly just flies. And if you guys saw the turbo video, uh, that car did zero to 100 kilometers an hour in uh, 3.2 seconds, whereas this car does zero to 100 in uh, four seconds. So you're getting a little bit less power in the 4S, but I mean, at the same time, you're paying $60,000 Canadian less for this car and I mean this car has so many options on it that the turbo didn't have this one I think has around 550 horsepower uh, whereas that um, that turbo had I think 660 it was somewhere around there and then the turbo s has 750 so turbo s does 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds which is absolutely unreal um, and they all have launch control so i'm gonna put this car in launch control and show you guys what that actually feels like since we did it in the turbo so you just put your foot down all the way on the brake all the way down on the gas oh my god <laughs> that that is so crazy that is insane. Same feeling as in the uh, in the turbo. <laughs> oh my god! It's crazy how it just feels like your head is going like so far into the uh, into the headrest. That is so crazy. The launch control in these cars is so awesome, and it doesn't have any slip at all. Like it's raining right now, and that had no slip whatsoever. And it's because that four wheel or the all wheel drive is just so good. All right, so to give you guys my honest opinion, I've driven the turbo, driven the 4S now. If I was buying a Taycan, I think that I would buy the 4S. The reason being is that I feel like sitting in the car, you have all of the same options basically that the turbo has. It's just that you're getting a little bit less power and the outside styling is a little bit different. But in like my head, it doesn't really matter. I feel like this car just overall, you're getting that instant like response of the acceleration. You're going zero to 104 seconds. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like an extra 60 grand for the turbo. For me, I don't think I would do that. Um, but if you do want the total like full package, 750 horsepower, um, all of the upgrades and everything that just comes standard on the Turbo S, then that's definitely something that you can do, but um, I am super happy with the 4S. All right guys, so that is my review on the 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S. Uh, I keep on wanting to say the Turbo, but this is the 4S. This car is around $161,000. It has so many upgraded features and cool things in it. Uh, like I said, this is the Dolomite silver color and the inside is a slate gray uh, smooth interior. So if you're seeing this and you really like what it looks like, that is what it's called. Um, this one has the upgraded battery package as well. Um, and yeah, it has the 21 inch Vossen forged wheels on it as well, which you guys saw on the exterior. So yeah, thank you to Porsche Vancouver for giving me this Taycan uh, for the day so that I could make this review for you guys. I will leave their link in the description so that you can see this exact car. Um, highly recommend just like if you are in the market looking for an electric car um, and you do have a budget that's kind of in this price range, definitely check out the Taycan. I think just to like experience the interior of this car and the way that it feels when you are doing things like the launch control and just like the power in general um, is something that is really cool and something that you don't find in a lot of other cars. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna end it right here. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you wanna get notified anytime I upload videos, hit that little bell notification. And yeah, if you guys do hit the like button, it does help this channel out and it does get the video in front of more people. So let me know what your favorite electric car is in the comments. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.